Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK, and I am at home vlogging. And I decided that I wanted to get online real quick and I'm real, real quick and talk to you guys about Ellis Island. Have you ever heard of this island? If you haven't, don't fret. We are going to be speaking about it today. We're going to be talking immigration, marine hospital services, and how members of Congress once believed that the gene pool was poison. Could you believe that? Hmm, is that still going on today? How they feel? Hmm, and why do I feel like I had something in my mouth? <laughs> also, I want you guys to know we are going to also be deep diving and talking about liberty. I'm hoping you guys are prepared for this conversation because we are going to be discussing like some real interesting things today. Now, the first thing I want you guys to know is that I am going to be starting off with a statement of facts. Now, it says here from 1892 to 1924, Ellis Island was America's largest and most active immigration station where over 12 million immigrants were processed. On average, the inspection process took approximately three to seven hours. For the vast majority of immigration, Ellis Island truly was an island of hope. The first stop on their way to new opportunities and experiences in America. For the rest, it became the island of tears. Mm. A place where families were separated and individuals were denied entry into the United States. Now, I am not going to lie to you guys. When I think about immigration, I would never think that Ellis Island and immigration was something that was once connected. But I am here to tell you that it was. Mm. And it is definitely giving interesting. So let's just go ahead on and go a little bit for, further. Now it says here that Ellis Island was not a one-stop shop. Ellis Island offered immigrants medical care. The Ellis Island Immigrant Hospital, also known as USPHS Hospital Number 43, was a United States Public Health Service hospital on Ellis Island in New York Harbor that operated from 1902 to 1951. The facility encompassed both a general hospital and a separate pavilion style contagious disease hospital. The hospital had two functions, treating immigrants who were all, well, I should be saying treating immigrants who were ill upon arrival and treating immigrants with conditions that were prohibited by immigration laws. These latter patients were stabilized and often sent back to their home countries. Now, the immigration hospital was run by Marine Hospital Services. Did you know that? Like, I would never think that before the VA, there was a Marine Hospital Services. But I'm here to tell you that Ellis Island was actually run by basically the military service. Now, let me go on. It says here that they were um, reorganized and expanded in 1902 and became the Public Health and Marine Hospital Service. The name was shortened in 1912 and became the United States Public Health Service, other no, otherwise known as PHS. Now, all of the doctors at Ellis Island were part of the Commission Corps of the United States Public Health Service. Nurses and all other medical personnel were employed up at the PHS. The PHS doctors conducted the line of inspection, the medical examination of arriving immigrants, and treated detained immigrants in the hospital. But I want you guys to know something. There was a dark side to Ellis Island. Anti-immigrant feelings were strong, and the fear of deportation was real. Mm. Eugenics was a hard science at the turn of the century. And a lot of people, members of Congress, believed in eugenics. And eugenics held that American gene pool was being poisoned and polluted by the immigrant stock that was interbreeding and intermarrying in America at this time. Ellis Island, excuse me, Ellis Island finally closed in 1954. The Immigrant Processing Center was restored and now is only a museum. Now, isn't that interesting? To me, that's a thriller that even members of our Congress was seeing uh, people who were basically 
connecting from different races as a part of poison. That's just very much so giving interesting. Anyhow, let's just go on, okay? Now, it says here that Ellis Island's Immigrant Hospital is a part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument. The Statue of Liberty, excuse me, the Statue of Liberty enlightening the world was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the United States and is recognized as a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated on October 28th, 1886. Did you know that? If you didn't, well, now you do. Anyhow, um... I want you guys to know that it was um, it was 1986 and it was designed as a national monument in 1924. While the monument is managed by the National Park, and I'm talking about when I say the monument, I'm talking about the Statue of Liberty. So it was designed as a national monument in 1924 uh, while the monument is managed by the National Park Services as part of the National Parks of the New York Harbor Office, the south side of Ellis Island, including the hospital, is managed by a nonprofit, Save Ellis Island Foundation, and has been off limits to the general public since its closing in 1954. Can you believe that Ellis Island is off limits? Excuse me. Ellis Island is off limits to the general public. And it has been since 1954. And that is the time that the doors were closed. That seemed like there were some real thrillers that were definitely occurring. Now, I want you guys to know the immigrants that were basically seen as basically the immigrants coming into the United States at that time. So, many of the immigrants coming to Ellis Island were from Southern in Eastern Europe, they included Russians, Italians, Slavs, Jews, Greeks, Poles, Serbs, and Turks. And I thought that was interesting. So I wanted to share this story. It's amazing how, you know, sometimes even with life throughout history, sometimes things recycle and it's, some of the things are still occurring today. Um, if you watch this video in its entirety, you're going to have to let me know how does this story, this article generate with you, resonate with you, you know, hearing about our members of Congress, hearing about how, um, immigrants came from Europe and how they were at times treated well, but at the same time mistreated, how members of Congress seen them as being a part of poisoning you know, their system. Well, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know your thoughts, your opinions, attitudes. Comment, like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. I hope you guys are out here being safe, staying blessed, and following laws, rules, and regulations because you don't know when, where, and or how it might impact you. Bye, guys.